In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening, everyone. Today marks the memorial or the feast of Saint Martha, sister of Mary and Lazarus, who busied herself to such an extent on one of the Lord's visits to their home that she gave out blue blazes about her sister Mary, asking our Lord to tell her sister to help her with the work. But more significantly, she's up there with St. Peter in that she said to the Lord, as we'll hear in this evening's gospel, about, I believe that you were the one who was to come into this world when the Lord talked about being the resurrection and the life. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this evening's Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another since love comes from God. And everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him. This is the love I mean. Not our love for God, but God's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us and his love will be complete in us. We can know that we are living in him and he is living in us because he lets us share his spirit. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. We ourselves have known and put our faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love, and anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The response to the responsorial psalm is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer and want and go hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Gospel acclamation. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who has to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord. The response to our prayers of intercession this evening is, Father, our trust is in you. Let us make our prayers to the God of our salvation because all our hope rests in him. Father, you established a covenant with your people. We trust in you, for you are faithful to your word. Send workers into the harvest and bring the world to the knowledge and love of you. May the unity of the church be formed by love and understanding. Gather us together through the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Help people to create a community where justice and peace may flourish. Be with us all, lest we labor in vain. We pray for the sick, 
for all who are poorly in mind or body, praying through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette, that they may be strengthened and sustained. We pray also in a special way this evening for all those families, particularly those families in our own parish who are mourning the loss of a family member, that they may be consoled. We pray also for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world who have died. Through the intercession of St. Martha, be mindful of the dead, especially those we have known. Have mercy on those who have given us their help. And we remember in a special way at Mass this evening, Patsy Lamb, whose month's mind occurs today. We remember also George Smith, Michael Kelly, Joanne McQuillan, Kevin McCann, Patrick McGurgan, Eileen Nina Morgan, Madeleine Miller, and Ellen Hamill, all of whose anniversaries occur today. And we keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks and days, commending to God's mercy Antoinette Litter, Leontia Kerr, Dominic McGuinness, Matt Sloan, Willie Lappin, Sally Donnelly, Antoinette Keeney, Jerry McAtee, Teresa Halfbeny, John Francis Lappin. And we pray God may welcome these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones into his heavenly kingdom of peace and light. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, your son graciously came as a guest to the home of St. Martha. By her prayers, give us grace to serve Christ faithfully in all our brothers and sisters and bring us to your home in heaven through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty 
that as her homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favour in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope eamon our bishop michael his assistant bishop sean our retired bishop all the clergy the religious and the entire people you have gained for your own remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Martha, St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit 
to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. When leaves are falling and the branches bare, winter is calling and chills a silent air. When the moon is covered by shadows. Be still, oh, be 
Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into this world. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, and for protection tonight, O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this night be at my side, 
to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And while we remember Patsy Lam and all those whose anniversaries occur today and those who have died of recent days, we also keep in our prayers Graham Heath, who is best. Grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of St. Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you.